What's the guys in the studio here? I'm Gav. And I'm Daryl. And in our previous video, you saw that we were using this film camera. This is a Canon EOS 1N. And in this video, we thought we'd explore the practicalities and the capabilities of the EOS bodies. Yeah, we understand that most of you are still trying to look for your first ever film camera. We would usually brush off these old Canon plastic bodies aside just because they don't have that vintage aesthetic look. And in this video, we're going to show you that these are still well capable cameras and you can still have a lot of fun shooting with them. Yeah, and they're just as user-friendly as your modern DSLR cameras and same settings, similar, so you can practice with them. And in this video, we're going to shoot with Rock. She's going to be our model. This is her Instagram. But first, mail time. We're going to open some mail that we got from Leia de la Cruz Crux or Cruz with an X. We're not sure. Yeah, that's so a pretty cool name. <laughs> Leia reached out to us through Instagram. She sent us her zines, Rome Volume 1 and Rome Volume 2. Yeah. It's a collection of her Instax photos. Yeah. And I'm guessing these are 35 millimeter shots. Mm. These are all awesome. And if you want to go check out her zine. Yeah, they, she also gave us some postcards. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. Beautiful photos. We really appreciate them. And uh, we're not going to show you too much of them. We want you to check out her profile. And maybe order and if you want to send us some awesome stuff go ahead and reach out to us through instagram as well all right we're shooting with Brox, manox <laughs> and we did another super duper uber newbie mistake that we shouldn't be doing right now anymore <laughs> but uh check out until the end of the video to find out what happened play video This hot sports car we found. We're going to try to make this our set for today. Hopefully, something nice comes up. And just a little trivia with this real car right here that we're shooting. And my very, very, very ultimate first roll ever. I shot this exact same car when it was still alive. Here's the photo. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> EOS 5. This is our second body, the EOS 1N. We're still using the same lens, so that's the beauty of the Canon EOS setup. You can swap your lenses with different EOS bodies, even your digital one. So this is our second set. And you might remember this set from our second, third, second video when we shot with like lens riddled with fungus. Shout out to Mighty. I had long hair back then. Flashback. 
<laughs> okay, now this is the part where we, or actually I, messed up. I forgot to load film in my EOS 1 in body. So we were shooting already 15 shots without any film. Dab missed a few of his awesome backlit shots. We both missed some shots, but yeah. That was on me. That was bad. It's all about bad. the fun. We had fun. photos you saw here were shot on Fuji Industrial 100 film and during the first roll we used Gab's EOS 5 and in the second roll I used my Canon EOS 1N. Yeah and that's where the mishap happened when we forgot to actually load the <laughs> film and we were uh, 15 shots into the roll when we found out hey why isn't there a number indicating where we are at. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad I forgot to load the film inside the camera uh, I was just too excited to shoot. I forgot that the film was still inside my pocket. <laughs> so for all you haters again, <laughs> so for all you haters there, aside from my focusing skills, you can now make fun of my film yeah. loading skills. <laughs> yeah, but other than the haters, like for everyone else, uh, let this be a motivation for you guys that you can make mistakes and still be badass photographers. <laughs> We're not badass, but like, Anyway, we had a, <laughs> our model was pretty understanding and pretty cool about it. She, we all laughed together and... Uh, Rox is also a fellow film shooter. You could check out her Instagram. There are some cool film shots that she took. Yeah, and that's just one of the cons. Again, you know, when you're shooting film, every now and then this will happen. And I, I, we missed on a couple of uh, really good shots because the sun was going down super quick that when we got back to that greenhouse thing yeah. that we were shooting at the golden hair wasn't there anymore so but the you know all in all it was still fun and we got good shots we had fun and uh, we were able to show you this video and one more about the cameras yeah um now back to the cameras now we think that these types of cameras are the most practical cameras that you could buy right now mainly because the bodies are compatible with the modern canon ef line of lenses so if you're already a DSLR shooter and you have EF mount lenses, they are compatible with these camera bodies. And the best part is these bodies wouldn't cost you an arm and a leg. Um, I bought these one end for only $100. And these for like oh, 80 something dollars. Yeah, and I'm also seeing some online advertisements right now for the EOS KISS bodies, which are selling locally here for 800 pesos. That's around 15 US dollars. Yeah, that's a steal right there. Check yeah. it out. Uh, yeah, and like, I'm pretty sure this will appeal to a lot of like professional photographers. If you're using it for events or, you know, for work, these are probably the best ones, huh? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, these are still reliable cameras that you could use during events. I personally use this camera for weddings and prenups. So, yeah, I yeah. have no questions. And a lot of regard. other people you work with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, personally for me, I was attracted to it because I kind of burnt out with like the external aesthetics of like being vintage and all that stuff. 
I just wanted to like focus on the shooting. And again, as for the lenses, you have access to all from the L glass to the traditional ultrasonic lenses. Now, one downside is it's not compatible with the EFS line of lenses. So check your camera if you have EFS size, that's usually for crop sensor cameras. They won't work on these cameras. And one thing more is that they are not, as far as I know, they are not that compatible with all of the third party lenses. So if you're using a different brand, try to check first if it's going to be compatible with the vintage camera bodies. Yeah. And also another downside with these camera bodies is that the batteries are sort of hard to find these days. Both use two CR5 batteries. They are not as common as your AA, AAAs, but yeah, you won't, you won't find them in your local grocery. But some, like depending on where you are, but where we are right now, we don't really get this in any stores, but yeah. online. Uh, but they last forever. Yeah, that's the good news about it. And two CR5 batteries, you can actually hack them to make them rechargeable. We're going to show that in another video. So yeah, beat the system like we do. <laughs> Film. Oh my god. Oh okay, guys, we're ending the video here because the dogs are too loud. Hope you, you know, conclude it with, you know, in the comments down below. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as of the photos, don't let the external aesthetics fool you. They also produce the same like vintage film look. Yeah, even though we're using a modern lens, it's nice that the photos still don't look digital. They don't look digital. They still have that organic film look. So yeah, don't be fooled. You can still take beautiful film photos, film vibes with semi-modern EOS film bodies. Hell yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you want to check more of this uh, EOS 5, actually, you already made it one video with it before yeah. and if you want to buy these camera bodies check out the links down below where, where you can find them yeah and also on a side note you're not limited to the canon brand even nikon has you know, this type of plastic camera bodies modern types that you can use your uh, dslr lenses with little teaser for <laughs> you guys have you visited our website recently we have some goodies up for sale so for more details, go check out 35studio.com. That's it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, hit the notification bell because the subscription doesn't mean anything anymore. We don't <laughs> pop up in your feed anymore, guys. Hit it. And thank you for letting us reach 10,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. oh, After two years, we finally reached 10K. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, feature. All right. This week's feature picture. Here they are. All you have to do for your photos to be featured is head over to Instagram, follow us and tag us in your photos, and we'll see you on the next video.